scored on, he, he just gets her done. A nice job by Sertis to bleed that time off the clock. And he gets a 4-2 win over Joshi Cortez of Cal Poly. Coming up next, we'll see the number five wrestler in the country at 157 pounds, Josh Shields of Arizona State, looking for a Pac-12 title. And now 157. Josh Shields of Arizona State has won nine straight bouts, one by fall, and the other eight by a combined 65 to 22. Hunter Willits, meanwhile, won five of his final six bouts entering this weekend. The only loss coming to Stanford's Paul Fox, but Willits beat Fox in the semis earlier today, six to five, to advance to the final. These two didn't meet in the regular season. And so this is going to be a tough road for Willits here. What does he have to do to beat Josh Shields? Get to his legs and finish and not get turned with that cross wrist roll. Those will be two key thoughts. You got any thoughts on it, Anthony? Yeah, I was going to say, Willits, I watched his last round and he really impressed me. Just he was wrestling out there with passion. He's going out there, he was scrapping in every single position. That's what he's got to do against Shields. Shields is one of those guys, he's going to be in your face, he's going to tie you up, move forward. He's always looking to score, so Willits can't get intimidated. He can't be on his heels took a nice little half shot there. That's what he's got to do. He's got to keep pressing forward, fight for the center of the mat, get his own attacks going. Don't go on his heels. Yeah, and I expect this to be a good grind. Willits is a four-time Colorado State champion. He's a true freshman. Keeps getting better and better. In the semis, he was losing to Stanford's Paul Fox, and he just kept closing the gap, closing the gap, and he got in on a shot in the final 15 seconds to win that match and put himself in the finals. Yeah, Hunter Willits became the 20th wrestler in Colorado State history to win four state titles. And his twin brother, Grant, also an Oregon State Beaver, won his third state title to weight classes up. You know, I was between sessions, I was a guest speaker at the uh, Oregon State uh, Fan fan Fest, and their, their Brewster Club had a get-together, and we were promoting wrestling. And uh, I met his twin brother, who you refer to, and his parents. And uh, So his twin brother, as you say, three-time state champ, he actually missed weight as a sophomore by by a tenth of a pound. So yeah. these two twin brothers were on course to, to, to just, they did great things in Colorado. Very impressive. Impressive family too. Smart people and uh, they're both engineering majors here at OSU. Yeah, their father Rick, a collegiate national champion in 1985 at the NAIA level for Adams State. Yeah, that's who I talked to at, uh, at the break with his wife. He he's, uh, teaches engineering and he's into welding. He, he he's, uh, makes metal Metal, like metal wrestling, he was talking to me about a, a, a metal man who's like a powerful wrestling figure and other metal things, metallurgy as well. So with, with his father being an educator, you can imagine that Hunter's a great student, along with one of the four straight high school titles, graduated high school with a 4.1 GPA. Wow, how about the twin? No, I don't have that. Okay. I could dig a little, dig a little deeper if we cover him on the right? I imagine his is good as well. So he was behind Hathaway this year. Um, he lost the competitive wrestle up to him at 141, so he's expected to be the 41-pounder next year. He's redshirting right now. You're talking about Grant Willis, yes. Yes, sir. Little brother. Well. Yep, with, with Hathaway graduating. Yeah. That was a nice shot on Willits in that last sequence there, but you know I was hoping he was going to kind of collapse down to the hip. He had the head inside single there, but Shields just had the opportunity to get his hips straight up. Didn't allow Willits to finish there. That was a prime position for Willis to get two takedowns. So way to wrestle through by Shields. This is a lot of action for a scoreless first period. Well, Hunter Willis of Oregon State racing the number, uh, wrestling the number five guy in the nation at 157, Josh Shields, at a scoreless first period. So Shield chooses to go down instead of defer. He decides, okay, I'm going to get my one now. And that's going to compel Willits. It'll be interesting to see if Willits chooses bottom in the third period. So Shields comes off bottom hard. Nice pushback, powers out. So Willits is mostly a takedown guy. He didn't fight that very hard to contend against Shields. Josh Shields, 29-2 and two this year. He's 13-0 and in dual bouts. The defending Pac-12 champ at 157, and again, ranked fifth in the nation. 
Yeah, Shields done a good job developing him. He came out of Pennsylvania as a, a good wrestler, but maybe not. Uh, maybe he wasn't recruited real hard by Penn State and Ohio State. And, uh, Zeke Jones scooped him up. He's out of Franklin Regional, same school that NCAA champion Nico Megaludis of Penn State went to, same school that Spencer Lee, who's now at Iowa, went to. They, they built a little powerhouse there. They do a lot of year-round wrestling. Shields is definitely a talented guy. He's got a lot of offense from his feet and the, the mat, but Wills is really impressing me on this matchup so far. He's in there, he's scrapping, he's keeping this match close and points. Got to keep firing off those shots. But so far, he's doing a great job against a guy that's really one of the top guys in the country. Yeah. They've got the escape point to begin this period, and that's the only point so far in the bound. Good shot, but really good reaction there by Sheets. Sheets wants that underhook. Wilt is fighting toe-toe. -to -toe. So, and, oh, deep fireman's carry penetration. Oh, Willis keeps wrestling. Oh, it's going to be close. He's got to keep wrestling. It. Good scramble, but not enough. He's got to get to his stomach. He's got to get to his... Oh, he blew it. Good... He took a risk. It didn't pay off for him. Two takedown, two back for Sheets. That was huge, and it came off of Willis's offense. He tried to have fireman's carry. It just didn't work out for him. Back points haven't been awarded yet, but he's got two coming. And... Stalemate there, so there's the two back points and a 5 nothing lead for Josh Shields. Pretty good defense for a while by Willits. You see Willits right there trying to square up his hips, goes for that roll. Shields smells it coming, releases that leg, just covers up the hips for that takedown there. Great wrestling through by Shields. Yeah, you know, he probably didn't need that grand because he just kept face and face and face and fight. Took a little risk, which is nice to see him wrestling hard, but it didn't pay off in this case. Well, if you're going to beat a guy like this, you've got to take some risks, don't you? Perhaps, although right there, maybe he didn't have to. Um, it just, you know, you got to go with what you feel. You can't question that decision, though. It all happens so fast. I do like the aggressiveness. Now, it'll be interesting to see here. You know, Shields is really good on top with that cross wrist roll that Anthony's made so popular. You think you think Oregon State's gonna go down? I'd say right now he kinda, I'd say he should because on his feet it was pretty close. He got a couple good shots up, but wasn't able to get some deep penetration to actually finish those things. And so he's falling behind in the score. He's gotta try to get this escape point now. And by the way, the Pac-12 has three NCAA berths at 157 pounds. Both these guys will be going to the NCAA tournament. Hunter Willits of OSU, Josh Shields of ASU. Yeah, both these guys are tough. Well, he got to his feet. Oh, look at that. Sheets doesn't even go for top. He's just going to go to work on his feet. That's surprising. It takes some energy on top. You got to be determined to grind on top and fight to get that wrist and really work hard. And Sheets decided not to spend that energy and just going to chill on his feet here and wrestle. Well, let's try to get on Shields. Unable to do so. Still going after it. A terrific job there by Shields, just giving those heavy hips on Willits. You see, he's getting in that leg. Shields is exploding, popping those hips, trying to keep him off balance. Coming right into your living room. Nice technique by Shields. And he gets two more. Goes in deep on that house side shot, cracks him down, gets his hip to the other side. Now he's thinking major. He's, yeah. He might let him go here. Rather he's than going for pace. some back points, he cuts him loose. He's got riding time in his advantage. See, Willis needs to work to score himself. See, this is when you got to get some upper body rest. Let's see if Willis has any upper body throws. Underhook offense. He's got to do something quickly. Nice low ankle shot there by Shields, circling around that corner, covering up the far leg. He gets two more. Now, nine to two, so he's in major territory because he's going to get a riding time point. And I've really been impressed with Shields, just the pace he's been able to keep throughout this whole matchup. Willits was sticking with him at the beginning there, but Shields was relentless. Kept pressuring, kept pressuring, kept pressuring, wearing his opponent down. Now it's you've seen it's, it's paying dividends right now. He's really racking up the score. Absolutely. From a 0-0 first period to a 9-2, not going to be 10-2 at the riding time. Major decision for ASU. Shields. Yep. Tack on the riding time point. Major decision victory. I, I, that's like the old... Oregon football team under Chip Kelly when teams would hang with him, but they just wear you down, wear you down, wear you down. Pretty soon you look, you're behind by 30 points. 
Yeah, Shields has a motor and he has the offense with that motor. That's what makes him so dangerous out there. So a big win for Josh Shields, number five ranked wrestler in the country. And he takes a Pac-12 title for the second consecutive year at 156.